What's going on, guys? Not League Footballers, home of football culture here with the fourth episode. You know what we're doing, Pete. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. My team, big dub this week. You know, the uh, Blauvich, Zakaria. Yeah, a little something. Two something. nothing. Yeah, that's, that's a huge window for you guys. Big, <laughs> big. Love it. Love it. I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, and in, in this episode, we're going to do our Europa League predictions. But uh, before we do that, Gio's got a little something, something to reveal today. Yes, might catch you by a little surprise, but uh, someone's gonna get hurt by the end of this video. Not us. No, no. So uh, this video, oh my god, out of nowhere. But uh, so we actually have a punishment for our Champions League predictions. The person that had the least amount of correct guesses is gonna get red assed or bummed. <laughs> Not bummed. Uh, so we're, we're gonna go to the local turf here, and uh, loser stands in the goal. Asses Why are you up. putting it at me? Like it's me. Nah, no, 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 it's predicted. <laughs> but uh, they're right. going to stay asses up, and they're going to get hit from the penalty mark by the winners. That's the way it's going to be. One shot each. Hmm? Unless there's a tie. If there's a tie, then the two people go in, go in net, and then the other two get two shots. Yes, sir. So that way it makes it a little more fair. Yep. Yeah. But as for today's video, we're going to be diving into a little Europa League. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have some shocking matchups, some shocking teams that I personally don't think should be in the Europa League. That's, That's your as... opinion. Okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. First of all, let's start with Dortmund versus Rangers. That's one of my teams that I'm pretty shocked about, Dortmund being in uh, in the Europa League. Oh, wow. I thought you were talking like the other way, like they, like they shouldn't be here. Like, no, no, no. Like they're bad. But uh, yeah, obviously that was a shocker, um, especially with their with all the talent that they have in their team. Obviously, it's a group of young kids but still with the talent that they have they should definitely not be here at all I mean you have someone like Holland who's scoring like two goals every game something crazy or a goal actually I think he has a goal every game is his ratio but still you know they got I feel like they got to defend better like right. I said um Dortmund's got to be a team that goes out and produces like they got to finally win something I haven't seen when's the last time they've done well in Europe when they had Klopp that was I think well I mean it's I'm not saying that it's all Klopp, but Klopp do definitely does play a big role in your team. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously putting the players in the right spots, kind of how to motivate different players. He definitely does that really well, and they haven't. I feel like they haven't gotten over that hump since he's gone. Since well, he's been like. At least they they made a big signing. Your boy, uh, Sula. Yeah, I mean that that was pretty huge. I think that he, another young player. Um, yeah, well, I mean we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they needed that actually, uh, defender. Um, so we can go into Zenit versus Real Betis. Uh, Zenit was in Juve's group. I actually thought there were a couple standout players on Zenit. They actually saved Juve, top in the group, helped them out. So um, nice that, for that, that was awesome. Yeah, that, that was big. Um, the only thing is they do have a few games, back-to-back -back games, before they play. So they play February 17th, but they have a game February 10th and February 11th. So... I mean, it is for the Atlantic Cup, so I don't know how much they kind of weigh into that. Mm -hmm. But still, two back-to-back -back games, definitely a chance for maybe players to get hurt or, you know, th there's there's definitely a lot of game time before yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that happening too. Uh, Barca versus Napoli, I think this is this is going to be a crazy game. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, Xavi, they, when Komen left, they were in, what, ninth place? And Xavi's finally turned them around now they're in fourth, fourth place yeah. yeah and they have a lot, a lot of new young kids like we talked about in the other podcast that have been playing like in different roles and kind of bring up the team a little bit yeah dude barca right now in these past couple games you got they just played a let go the 4-2 win yeah huge they got their key players finally um as far as ferran torres like getting in on the action yeah, Alabama even got in towards the end. Didn't, didn't get to create as much as he should. Yeah, but, exactly. You know, uh, Danny Alves. Let's talk about that. He's got a, a goal, a red card, and an assist. Yeah, I don't know. I, he's got it all. It's like, a trio, a nice little trio. You know what they call that, right? You know what they call that? Huh? Brazilian hat trick. Yeah. Brazilian hat trick. Is legend. that actually what they call it? I think so, yeah. He's the legend. Um, honestly, I think that they needed him on the team. A little spark of you know, experience and to bring him back to the club for that little culture aspect. Yeah, I mean, he's won so much in his career. I feel like they kind of, they needed that little, like you said, that little spark to kind of get the young players more motivated. Mm -hmm. um, it just felt like Barca was kind of kind of missing something. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, once Xavi and Dani Alves 
yo, stop putting me off back there. When uh, Xavi and Dani Alves kind of came in, and obviously they had some new signings, good signings. Um, now they're starting to have some life to them again. Yeah, Napoli, on the other hand, um, they just got back Koulibaly, which has just won the AFCON Cup. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, he's going to be back in the Serie A. Uh, one of the best defenders in the Serie A, if not the best defender in the Serie A. And, and one of the best in the world. Yeah. I mean, he's been big for them in their back line. He's been their staple for the past few years. Um, I mean, I don't really see them kind of... It's kind of hard for them to win games with him gone because, I mean, when you kind of have... Who do they have back there now? Who's the other guy? I can't think of his name right now. It's off the top of my head. That you, that plays usually... That plays pretty well, actually. Center back? Yeah. And then Gulan. Yeah. No. Gulan? Yeah, I think... No, he plays outside back, does he? Whatever it is, is not not gonna compare. Yeah, exactly. They're not, none of them are gonna compare to Koi Lolly. Like he's just, like I said, the staple in the back. Right. Yeah. Um, Sheriff versus Braga. This is a game that you know, not many people are gonna talk about, but Sheriff showed that they can play with the big boys. Yeah, I mean, they played against Inter. They had and Real Madrid. I think they had very very good games. I mean, from players that you've never heard of, really. So, to see them kind of having a shot. It's I'm happy for them honestly i kind of want to i'm kind of rooting for them in a way you know yeah i'll root for the underdog all day yeah they're putting moldova on the map too so <laughs> exactly. cool. uh we got leipzig versus real social dads real social dads uh go ahead do you talk about this one um i mean leipzig i feel like is always kind of a mid-table team in the bundesliga i mean the past few years they've been kind of in and out of europe which has kind of been good to see but uh i feel like a lot of their big players from before have been kind of they're, they've all been kind of shipped off, so maybe that's kind of why they kind of dropped off in quality. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of anybody's game. Uh, Real Sociedad definitely has a few good players. Um, yeah, like Ori Arthabal, who's just definitely been playing really good this season. Um, yeah, they have uh, Isaac. That's, that's He's always correct. been a hot, hot uh, player, yeah. you know, like going to teams, transfer rumor here, transfer rumor there. I'm kind of hoping that I see kind of his move pretty soon because I, I like him a lot. But he was, we'll say. I was supposedly linked to. Arsenal, right? He's like, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, everyone's linked to Arsenal. That's, that's just where no one ever goes. Yeah. But uh, for Leipzig, you're you're right. They do have a talented group. And Kunku, Andre Silva, Danny Almo, Schobel, yeah. line too. Yeah, exactly. You got those key players that no one really talks about. Forsberg, Angelino. Uh, I think like there's a group that that do play well together. Yeah. I just think that they're missing that kind of like that wow player to kind maybe of, one star. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I agree. You got it. Uh, Porto versus Lazio. See, this is kind of a tough game because Lazio is, in my opinion, they're a good team, but like, not that not that Porto is a bad team, but they tend to do drop games a lot. Like, for example, like I feel like if Immobile is missing, they're kind of their main goal scorer, then they kind of drop off. They kind of get lost. You know what I mean? Because he's the only one up there that kind of goes and attacks. I mean, I know Milinkovic Savic definitely runs up the field a lot. But still, I mean, they even in the season they've been hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. So we'll see yeah, how that goes. is on a tear this season, though. Yeah, he's right now at 17 goals, I believe, just behind Vlaovic, or maybe tied with Vlaovic. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it's a great, great Capocannoniere race. Um, and I think that still he he'll lead the team. I think that they'll beat Porto without a problem. I think it'll be. Uh, Finally, something good for Italy in the uh, Europe League. You had to throw Vlahovic in there, right? Just because. Obviously, I need to talk about Vlahovic okay. just right. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, to touch on that, Vlahovic, thank you for coming to save my club. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, uh, boy, thank you. No, no, no. But uh, Atalanta versus Olympiacos. Atalanta has got a soft spot in my heart. For, yeah. Just because, you know, Italian side, small, small city in Italy, Bergamo. Um, who doesn't know European football up until these past two, three years is their first time being in the Champions League, being in Europe League. So that was kind of due to Gasparini, I think. In my opinion, he's one of the best coaches in the world just because you kind of give him a player and he'll make the most out of the player. Um, and then let's say they sell them off. Um, he'll, he'll find a cheap replacement and then we'll play just as good as them. Like Hatsubura, um, he kind of got, I think he got hurt. Was that falling out? Like, fell out of the lineup and then they have Milo who came back into the lineup and he played just as good if not better um and now Hatsaburo can't even find the field anymore so 
like I said, I think he, he's a good manager, but they definitely need to do better in Europe if they if they kind of want to go win something. For sure. Just any top three managers in in Serie? Oh, in Serie? A? Yeah. Top two. He could be. He could. What's what's the list for you? Top three. Um. And Zaghi's definitely up there for me. I mean, really? I know he's got a good team, but look at... Okay. When he look, left Don't Lazio, tell me look at Lazio. No. Don't look at, tell me look at Lazio. Look at Lazio. What do you... Okay, hear me out. Immobile was scoring twice as many goals, and then he left. And now the team, like... Their big players, like Milinkovic, Savic, has been... He's been playing good and bad. Good and bad. Good and bad. I mean, yeah, that's kind of been his career. But I feel like when Zaghi was there, it kind of made it more stable. Mm. Um... Look at Korea. He was he was good at Lazio. He brings him over to Inter. He's still good. You know uh, what I mean? Have him bring over the whole team, and he could copy and paste everyone, and it's all going to be okay. Okay. Well, do you, so do you think it was all Conte that made Inter this good? I think they, Conte's like, way of coaching made Inter the team that they were, and the fact that he had Lukaku and Lautaro as a strike force. But yeah. but they've they've lost Lukaku, and they're still scoring just as many goals, mm. and they're still in first place. Yeah, but I, you can argue that up top they don't look as good. Jekyll scoring goal. Jekyll's actually the goal that he scored the other day. It was a beauty, but um, I still don't think that they have the same it factor than they did last season. If that makes sense. I mean, they're still first. They still, but and by a, by a, no, by one point actually, point, actually, yeah. Which is crazy too to think about. You got first to third place separated by one point. Yeah, that is. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Um, and the last. Final playoff game that we have here is Sevilla versus Dynamo, Dynamo Zagreb. Sevilla, the king of Europa League. That's true. They're going through, 100%. We'll see them sweep up another trophy. Yeah. Well, actually, what, this year? No, we'll see. Yeah, it's a definite, we'll see. But like I said, they always definitely perform well in Europa League. So. It'll be an Italian team. Yeah. I think so. Placing it right now. Place it right now. Hammer. On the nail. Atalanta in the final. Zapata. Two goals, put it to bed. Okay, that's a, that's a bold statement. Also, you got to remember that there's no away goals advantage. Um, it's kind of just whatever the aggregate is. If it's 3 3, it doesn't matter the away goals. Overtime, if overtime goes over, then penalties. Yeah. Um, guys, this video is brought to you by the help of our partners, Amazon Audible, who carry thousands of titles such as Maradona, The Hand of God, Ancora and Giro by Alex Talpiero. Hello, Why Soccer Matters, and many more titles exclusively on Amazon Audible. So thank you to them. Hit the link above or in the description below and give them a look. Give them a shout. All right. Thank you. We're going to do our little uh, questionnaire segment yeah. back there. Yeah. Fire yeah. off some questions for us. Uh, you want to do like a game between you two? Oh, you wanna... I kind of like that. We'll keep score. I just don't want to make him cry. Man. Whatever, whatever is like... We do like a buzzing low. system. Like you have to like clap. Oh. All right, that's fine. First person yeah, the noise goes. That's fine. You get it wrong, another person can steal. I like that. I like that. Who's the best player in the world? First to five. No. Ronaldinho. No. Nope. Ronaldinho Messi. still. No. Still. Best Messi. player to ever play is Ronaldinho. Messi. Ah. Yeah. Ronaldinho still. Anyways. I'm ready. So these are multiple choice questions. There's options too. Okay. All right. All right. So we're gonna do buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. Buzzing. First one to hit you. You do the ears. Okay. The ears and right. the eyes. Which two countries participate? It's illegal. We've okay. only over. Yes, Italy and that. Spain. Okay, I can finish the question for you. Yeah. Which two countries participated in the first international football match? Is it A, Germany and France, B, Scotland and England, C, Germany and Scotland, or D, France and England? Oh, that's Dude, tough. You seem smiling easy, behind yes. the camera. Ooh, England. I know England's in it. I'm going to go with a wild card here. Okay. B. Scotland and England? Correct. Let's go, baby! You act like I wasn't going to pick that. 1872. No question was Alright, that's one, one zero, Pete. Nah, no, I'm just sure. putting it down there so you can see it. Pete, you go write 10 and I'll still catch up to you. Let's, yeah. uh, Pete, you read this one. This is one you wanted to say. Okay. Does Rich know how to read, though? Okay. Yeah, he's illiterate. Okay, go ahead. What does it say? Uh, what was the largest <laughs> margin of victory in an international soccer match? Let's go 31 0. Wow. That's correct. Okay, who are the teams? Uh, I know one was, it was like a Samoan country or some, something weird yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. That's not part of the question, but yeah. Is it? And yeah, who, it was who beat Samoan. them? Is that, is it true? That's who got beat. Uh, Australia. Yeah. 
Nice, dude. Nice. Slay, I'll give you that. That's <laughs> going on an Instagram right there. Dude. Like, no clip soccer. it, clip it, clip, clip it for it. me. It's always like you watch soccer. Oh my god, do you even watch soccer? I watch football. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool, man. I watch football. Can I be like half as cool as you? Not half. Maybe a quarter, like a tablespoon or something like a that. A tablespoon. A quarter to a tablespoon. We can figure it out. Alright, ready for another question? Yeah. I'm born ready. Who scored the longest goal in football history? The longest? Furthest goal. Okay. You, what, are you Googling it, Pete? No, I'm typing Pete 1, Geo 1. Okay. Well, Is it A? Can see. These are, you, I may butcher this name, but... Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to go through them and then I'm we both? i the four names. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah. If you tap it when you know you go. A. Mode Siamsuri Mustafa. B. Tim Howard. C. Andy Loner Lonergan. Or D. Asmir Begovic. Yeah. You know, I've seen that Tim Howard goal, that punt. I want to say it's not him because he was right, at, right behind the 18. I'm going to go with the last option, Begovic. That's your answer? Correct. That's oh, a big wow, one hundred yards. One hundred yards. That's actually wild. And this is why Gio is the guy. That yeah, he's just the guy. Yeah, just, I'm, Honestly, not, I'm not that guy, you know. <laughs> yeah. If if we could turn the camera, we would. But the door is there. I think we should leave, and I think that we should wrap it up here. Yeah, but funny. we'll so continue funny. just for yeah, for uh, yeah. for your entertainment. Yeah, go ahead. Whatever you're right. Right. Question, man. Question. Yeah. Right, the question ready? master. He's loading, he's loading. He's loading. <laughs> this might be an easy one, but... Premier League club Liverpool is also name, known by which nickname? <laughs> my bad, I'm not going to read you. The, the Reds. Correct. 3-1. Can I do a curveball question? Just random. Please just random. Just random. Just random. This is the most random question I, I think I'll probably ask. Go ahead. How many goals does Samuel Umtiti have for Barcelona? Three. No. Is it zero? Tell me it's zero. No, it's more than zero. I don't think he has a goal. Wait, is this uh, is this multiple choice? Is this is a trick question. No, it's just, it's just a random question. Oh, okay. You said three? I said three. Five. Gio was close to his two. Son of oh, <laughs> call that 4 1, dude. Yeah, I didn't know you could score a goal. I didn't think he scored a goal for Barcelona. That's pretty wild. Mascherano didn't score a goal for Barcelona. How many goals did he have? Mascherano. He only scored one goal one. for Barcelona. Yeah. That's insane. But he yeah. was world class. He was. He gave him a penalty too. It wasn't even like goal for goal. What? That's actually, penalty. that's unbelievable. Yeah. Like, no joke. <laughs> Crazy, right? It was a penalty. Yeah. They probably felt bad for him. They Did checked the that, stats. That, that, uh, GM, about that Adama, that he, like, 0 out of 29 games in the Premier League that he played for Wolves, he had an assist. And then he goes and first game back with uh, with Barca, he goes and gets an assist. That's probably his consistency. It's who knows? Time for things to come. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so, but I don't know. Yes, you, you gotta wait for that. Whenever the question master is ready. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Uh, was it three one? Four, four one. Four one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting ratioed right now. No, no, no. We can keep going. We'll go to ten. All right. Oh, so I have to, <laughs> I have to come back here. What year were football rules codified? God. 1963, 1863, 1763, or 1663. 1863. Correct. Jesus. That's a 5-1 sweep. Uh, I need to get these next four right just to tie him. This game is well, brought to, to you five. by me. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Gio. Will we find to five? Yeah, but... Yeah, well, you have six questions. Charity rules. Yeah. Charity rules. No, 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 we're playing we'll to ten. Let's do another Let's... round. All right, I won the first round. I won the first round. Oh wait, there's I won the first now? round. Fair and square. Put her there. Put it. Fair and square. Put it there. I like that. That's, that's, that's a nice little patent that. Yeah. Got a patent that. Whenever you guys are ready. Did you want to throw a question out there? No, I don't have one right now. Oh my goodness, I have to get those question one. masters are never ready, <laughs> dude. Dude, trust me, I've been there, done that. Who's the best player in the world? Right answer only. Casemiro. Oh, <laughs> did Casimiro. you say so much? All right. <laughs> These questions. Casemiro. Anyone who will score on Barcelona is the best player in the world. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Okay, this question, some of these aren't going to have options, so it's just going to be, but if you can get it, you can okay. guess. 
But you right. you have the right answer. Then. Yes. Okay. Okay. No. It's just no, yeah, I don't know. Um, FIFA stands for what? Oh, dude, I have no idea. This is. Uh... Might as well take a guess. See, I don't know, but I will guess. Yeah, you want to guess? I don't you? know what the first letter is. It's French, right? It's in French, but I will. Yes, it, 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 the yes, it's in French. Uh, Federation. Yes. International. Yes. Football Association. Okay, oh, there's a day in there, but that's correct. Federation Internationale de Football Association. I do, um, I do IFA, but that's correct. <laughs> Yo, for non-league football. Ah, I'm gonna wait until. So, nah, 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 Alright, here's another one. In which country, in which country first FIFA World Cup, this is what it was so terribly, in which country was the first FIFA World Cup hosted and on which year? Uruguay. Ni uh, 1934. 1930, sorry. Is that your answer? Yes. Correct. Dude, what do you do? Just sit there with a <laughs> soccer notebook and just study Wait, all day? Gio is failing no, all of his classes, but he's winning this game. That's in all that matters. <laughs> uh, I am, I am. Oh, wow. This is report card, <laughs> FFFF F, 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 soccer, A plus. Hey, bro, but FIFA's the enemy, bro. You're not in league. That is true. That is true. John right. Infantino. Was it 2 nothing this round? This question I'm just going to do closest to because it's like a certain amount. How many football teams participated in the first World Cup? Uh, Dad. I'm going to go with 8. 8? Eight? I'll say 12. Correct answer is 13. That's 3 0 to Gio. Dude, and Gio so, gave you that. He's like, go ahead. That's a great ratio. How is it 13? What do you mean? Like, how did they do that with 13? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, actually. I Maybe they had a buy or something. Right. They just like. Wait, wait, wait. No, I think it's because uh, some teams weren't able to participate due to world wars. There wasn't a world war in 1930. Then maybe all this class. <laughs> See, that's why. Exactly. That's why I'm failing this dude. Yeah, all he's that passing the game. Nah, nah, go ahead, guys. All right, we'll just cut that out. We'll cut that out. He only knows football. No, no, we're no, gonna no. cut that out. No, we're no, no, we're leaving that out. These are all uh, World Cup based questions. That's fine. Uh, all right, this next question: Which team has reached the final of the World Cup three times but never won? Reached the final but never won three times. One you did buzz in, and that's it. I want to say. Go ahead. I want to say Sweden. No. Scotland. It's my no. guess. Can we go again? Yeah, no, yeah. obviously. We gotta go until someone gets it right. Mm. So start firing out the countries back and forth. Hungary. Nope. Mother Russia. Nope. Oh my god. I have no idea. I'm trying to think of the big football. <laughs> Netherlands. Correct. That's, what is that, 4 nothing? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ratioed. That's yeah, two yeah, rounds in a row I've been ratioed. All right, final round. Yeah, final round. Yeah, this is the final All round. Right. I got to redeem myself and win at least it. one round. Ready for this one? Yeah. Which player has the most FIFA World Cup goals in history? Is it closer? Correct. You're a lot closer. Pete's well on the board. Well done. well done, Pete. Well done. That's good. And can I tell you the number? Go for it. Is it 11? It doesn't say how many. It just says his name. Nah, Whoa, man, no Google during the game, bro. Bro, just take it easy, man. <laughs> this is Ooh, this is a good one. You guys don't know, this is a cool little fact. All right. Um, which two countries went to war partially over a soccer match? Paul. Like, war over a match? Like, oh, actually? Partially, partially. <sighs> Germany's definitely in there because they just have problems. Um, <laughs> well, shout out all the Germans, man. Pete hates you. <laughs> I don't hate no, you guys. No, no, that is, that's not true. Pete loves all walks of people. All Germans. Uh, All Germans. No, I only like Germans, actually. Everybody else. <laughs> I think... I'd say... Hungary. And I want to say... Switzerland. Really close. Pete? How is he really close? Listen, one of the teams. How do you pick Switzerland? They I'm never not. get involved in anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's like so one, one of them's two. gotta be Switzerland. I swear. Listen, you said Germany and who? Zakaria and Hungary. Hungary. So Switzerland don't get well, involved in no. wars. It's tell us. Dude, it's like it's like gang country, El Salvador, Honduras. Really? Yeah, very That's nice. wild. That's pretty nuts. Well, Spanish people are really passionate about it. Who do you think would win that? A war? The war? Honduras? <laughs> A war between El Salvador and Honduras. Honduras is bigger. Do they have more population? 
Okay, soccer match. Or can you I'm imagine? Not, I'm not can you imagine? If, this is this, what? What can you imagine to settle war? You put out your best football team. <laughs> you just meet up in the middle. Eleven v eleven right now. Can you imagine? I feel like they should do that. Oh, I got a really hard one. Can I, can I say? The U.S. would lose so bad. How long? Would lose every week. Wait, wait. Can I say? Good. No, oh, China would be horrific. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I want to say. Go. Jitch. What are you on the corner? How long is an international soccer match? An international? Yeah. Three minutes. Ninety minutes. Well, is really good at this. It's three minutes, guys. Come on. Guys, come on. This Maybe is just, these questions are getting. <laughs> little... right, I have a question. On the, that didn't count. Stupid good. question, Rich. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the World Cup. Go ahead. In 2010, in the 2010 World Cup, who was the captain of Spain? Pete. Think Don't get this it. wrong. Don't get this wrong. Oh my god. Don't get this wrong. It's tough, right? Because no, yeah, now there's so many class players that I'm going through. Just don't get it wrong. What am I thinking of? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to request an answer for the next 10 seconds. Alright, we're just... We'll go with Puyol. <clears throat> Is it Iniesta? I was going to say Puyo. Iniesta. So I'm going to go with Casillas. Correct. Some dude, ah! you are such a rock. Wow. Casillas. Right, I got one, I got one. Good one, actually. That's 5 nothing again. Hold on, what's round two goes to Gio? I think Pete should get a punishment for this, too. If he goes three in a row on you, that's a punishment. A next lap. What's the, what's a the nice punishment? little... Yeah, a little next lap. Nice little, a little slapper. Next lap. Yeah, a little, a little next what? Lap. Two finger next yeah, lap. <laughs> yeah, a little... Yeah, a little... I got one, I got one. I think I'm going to shout out the women's soccer. Who okay. won the first two FIFA Women's World Player of the Year awards? Uh, we'll go Rapino. Probably Lloyd. Nah, man. No, nah, like, this is OG people. Oh, like from oh, way back yeah. in the day? Yeah. The first? Yeah. Yeah. But you guys both were wrong, so. Uh, still got it right. Still the winner. That's, so does that count? Is that one nothing to you? Yeah, it's fine. Nah, I don't, don't take that one. Only because I got, got, I got a World Cup question for you. Go ahead. You might know this one. Maradona played in how many World Cups? Maradona played in three World Cups. Three World Cups. Pete. Three World Cups. No, not two. Dude, one, idiot. Though. I didn't get my official answer. Two World Cups. No, it's not two. One. No. Four World Cups. <laughs> yes. No, I didn't. Ah! Just, uh, <laughs> You guys get going down. Ah, Pete, you gotta read up on my. We're just thinking like, okay, this is gonna sound horrible. We're lifting like it's gonna, you know. Yeah, well, towards the end. <laughs> well, he has played in four World Cups. Who's the best player in the world? This question just—it's so objective. objective. Yeah, it's objective until you get it right. Until until oh wait, it is objective until you say the right answer. Ronaldinho, of all time. Yeah. Go. But can we get one more question uh, under the uh, question master? Okay. Well, what, 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 what's your answer? No, no, no. There, keep Val? going. Keep finding. Yeah, no, that's the correct answer. No, it's not. So. Okay. Let's try some more. Yeah, dude. Let me uh. Let me see here. A question that you might be able to get right. Listen, any question is a good question. Yeah, you let me know, man. Because. I'll this is now league football. It's normal football. Oh, I like that. I saw your phone. I went, "Where's my phone?" Now I looked up, and I was like, Pete, "Not everything's about phones." See, the one thing you guys got the viewers out there. I don't have any technology. I've been having. All right, let's get this one out really quickly. Go ahead. Here's a good question for you. All right. Which was the first team to win two consecutive World Cups? Italy. Spain. Italy's correct. Italy. Spain only has won one cup. And I'll tell you what years. Okay. 34 and 38. Correct. Dude, you just know ball. That's just. Pete, that's you seem like you don't. Spain has one more cup, man. Well, I mean. It's all right. I've only been in the past. That's it. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh come Did on. you have one, Rich? <laughs> no, no, no. Sure, okay. I'm, I'm on a little more question. Yeah. Just ask your best one. Yeah, this this last question, make it a good question, this will set This up. question's worth 10 points. Okay. okay. Even if I still get it right, there's no way. No, I didn't just come back. You oh, this is going, this is going. Go ahead. Who scored the first ever Premiership hack trick? Oh, okay. Is this a player we'll recognize? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I have a guess already. Let's go with... Ah, I didn't think that. Do we know uh, the players? Just, you know yeah, the player. Yeah. 
Can we remember? Can it, it's talking about Premier League, right? Not like okay. Premier League. One. Okay. Like, Is there a Premier League, Patrick? When it became the Premier League, so I think that that will help you with the time. Cristiano Ronaldo. Get the buzz. Out. A bit earlier, earlier Cristiano. than his time. Earlier. Just a bit earlier than his time. Okay. Let's go, Michael Owen. Wait, if you didn't get them, yeah. Sorry. That's why you get two answers. Yeah, yeah, they're right. Go ahead. Them out. Well, I don't know when the Premier League was made the Premier League. That's the problem. It was made in like the low ni- uh, early 90s, I believe. Yeah, I'll say early 90s, yeah. Mm, whatever you're ready. Early 90s. I shot yeah, out If you two. don't guess, Pichillo is going to get a guess. We'll go best. No. And... They don't know. You can go ahead again. No, no, no. Guess. Dude, I have no idea. Guess a uh, big striker in the Prem. I'm gonna go with Lineker. Oh. Should we give him a hint? Where he's from? His country? Yeah. French. Cantona. Yes. Wow. Eric Cantona. Wow. With 10 points. He was a stud. Guys. Let me, let me give you this one more. Go ahead. This one will be good for you. Right. To get it right, I need how many times Italy have won the World Cup and each year they win it, they won it. Oh, dude. How many times do we win? My memory is years. so garbage. You can go ahead. This is how I'll wrap up the video for you guys. We're going to go World Cups. 1934. How 1930, what? How many times did they win? Four. Okay. 1934, 1938, 82, and 2006. That's correct. Uh, the real Italian. The real Italian. And on that note, possibly not 2020. Possibly not 2022. 2022 because they may not make it. Uh, but I think we have faith for another episode. We have faith in the boys, right? You shouldn't. We do have faith, but it's gonna be a tough road. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, watching me slap around my friend Pete. (laughs) (laughs) No, but for real, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, Like and subscribe uh, to our channel. Like this video and keep. uh, Keep the love coming because we're going to keep producing content. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Can we get a little? Yeah, let's get a little. little. Like, subscribe. Yeah, hit all that good stuff. All right. Thank you. Peace. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give us a like and subscribe for more weekly content, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.